design here. Yeah. Only the lights. If the lights were off. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> hey guys, we're at Old Town Market. How was it? Vieni a casa con me? Oh, he wasn't ready for it. Vieni a casa con me. Oh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> I got it. Freeze. Listen, I'm all for sexual liberation, but some of y'all be living a little too scary for me personally. You don't know my sexual history. You don't know nothing about me. You met me less than a day ago when you already ready to go get a room. Now, I don't want to generalize and say this is an Italian thing, but when I was in Budapest, remember I was walking back that pretty ass sunset after I went to the club for the first time? It was somebody who was Italian and they tried to get me back to their crib and they did the same thing that night. Also, excuse the bargain. Y'all already know I'm in a whole different place, like I said, but yeah he had me translate something he was like having me say something and he was like this means that you gonna come back home i'm like is this like some type of like italian pickup line anyways the answer was no he respected it i felt like it got a little shady because then he started making comments on my body after that we stopped hanging out he did pay for stuff we had a good time so i'm gonna look at the positives but this is why i'm really protective about who i give myself to i'm not shaming anybody else but for me some people are too quick with it and i also have a lot of people comfortable telling me about their other hookups so for me i'm just not another number but anyways that's cute. Hi guys, we're in Old Town Market and there are these geese. Let me get the kid out the way. There we go. There's these geese. And our theory is that. What was the theory? Oh, so yeah, they're smuggling pills inside of the geese. Not legit, but they're everywhere. I don't know why. If anybody knows the reason, feel free to let me know. I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna go try Aperol Spritz for the first time. Had lemonade, went to the museum, it was really nice. There's a giant teddy bear dancing and a whole bunch of stuff going on. But yeah, let me know if y'all know and I'll talk to y'all later. First time Aperol Spritz, y'all. I still don't know. Cheers, my love. <laughs> It's so sad that we have to cheer on the bare minimum, and I'll talk about this later, but the fact that he was able to still hang out with me after I told him no, I have respect for it, but it's like, once again, that's the bare minimum. But being able to still see me as a person and seeing my value that I'm cool to hang out with and just because you don't get to take me back to no room and fuck, that, you know, doesn't mean I'm not a cool person to hang out with still. I was like, okay, cool, we good. I sat here, y'all ate a whole pizza. He was sipping his little drink. I offered, of course, he didn't want any. We were sipping our little drinks, eating the pizzas, enjoying the vibes. I did not flirt or lead him on, but we were acting like long lost best friends or lovers or whatever it might be. And it just felt really nice to explore the city with somebody. So yeah, overall, good experience, okay? I paid for some stuff, he paid for some stuff. We had a little picnic. 
all right i'm dabbing a pizza because it was a little saucy little greasy but that's about it um my time in warsaw is coming to an end but i'll just let y'all watch from here yo the lemonade stands on a bike look at him go wow hey you been sent to your mom yeah i was thinking that <laughs> No, you're fine, you're fine, you're perfectly fine. They said you're never leaving. That is the most toxic love log I've ever seen. <laughs> that thing is massive.